Scorpio. It's been a while. Sorry guys. So I took March off so that I could move and I was really busy with my daytime job and I'm a mom. So um, this is just what I do in my spare time, which is not much. Um, I'm going to try to be more consistent though now that I have this new space and everything seems to be going swimmingly. All right. Um, so I did change a few things since the last time I brought in the Magdalene Oracle for your overall energy. Um, I just moved a couple of the placements. I was just bored as shit with the way I've been doing it since forever. Um, now just right now, I normally use the Witch's Tarot for my main deck and the Gilded for my clarifiers. But when I was shuffling for you, um, it just didn't feel right with the Witch's Tarot today. I don't know why. I don't have an explanation, but I felt like I should use the Gilded for my main deck today. And this is a deck I've had for 20 years. So it's my first deck, so I figure, I don't know, whatever. We'll use this one as the main one today. Um, all right, so Scorpio in love, April 1st through the 7th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And since this is a love reading, you might want to check your Moon and Venus signs as well. This is not going to resonate with all of you. It shouldn't. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, just check out something else. Move along. You don't have to let me know if it doesn't resonate. If it does, though, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so your overall. Oh, another disclaimer. It is dark in here. Um, you're not going to be able to see the cards very clear. I am sorry that it's that way, but I'm not going to change it because I just, I work better in the dark. So I'm either going to connect with you really well like this or I'm going to turn the lights on it's going to be bright as shit and I'm going to be annoyed and I'm not going to connect at all so sorry for that guys you either want to connect or you want to see the cards I'll do my best though with this candle here so your overall eternal embrace all right so eternal embrace Everything in the universe consists of complementary opposites, so there is no point in wishing that everyone around you was more like you. Accept this universal truth and you will avoid further disappointment. Every time you identify a quality in another that you don't like, pause for a moment and identify that same quality within you. If you have identified that quality in another, then it's sure to exist also in you. I know I have a hard time with this. Um, not, not that I want everyone to be like me, but, um, how do I explain it? Mm, there are certain things that I can't tolerate and I feel like it's because I don't do them. So I don't want them in my life. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. Let's move on. But I do get it and I do that often. Every quality you think you possess comes with an opposite quality attached to it. You can't have one without having the other. Read and reflect on the following sets of qualities or feelings several times each day, and I'll go over those in a minute. Um, as you go, you may want to add more qualities. Slowly reflect on each one until you're able to see each of these qualities within yourself. When you're able to own and love each one equally, you will have made a major breakthrough, which leads to newfound sense of balance and well-being. Okay, so positive and negative. You can't have one without the other, right? Friendly, not friendly. Happy, sad. Peaceful, aggressive. Strong, weak. Trusting, fearful. Confused, clear-headed. Spiritual, physical. Responsible, irresponsible. Considerate, inconsiderate. Angry, calm, feminine, masculine, kind, and cruel. All right, so as an overall, that tells me that you might be being overly critical about the person that you're dealing with. Um, I know I'm that way always. I mean, and I'm a Scorpio. I don't require much, but I take a lot of things as red flags. Do you know what I mean? Minor shit. The most minor shit. I'm like, no, fuck that. Um, so I do get it. Just be careful of that. All right, so your recent past, you have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. <coughs> Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You might have been dealing with one. Maybe not. I just say the signs because some people like to hear them. Um, anyway, Queen of Pentacles reversed is lack of commitment, lack of stability. You might have felt like... Um, like out of sorts, if you're in an existing relationship, it probably was like up in the air or something. 
um, are not very committed. There might have been like some instability. Somebody's not grounded. Whether it's you or the other person, I don't know. This can all go both ways. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, so that's your recent past. You might have been ha just having some issues whether it's at work or at home that were causing problems in the relationship could be something like that too now your present guys i don't see this often in scorpio readings so be grateful <laughs> you have the sun in your present this is the happiest card in the deck right it's ultimate happiness it's clarity everything's out in the open like you are good to go you know exactly what's going on you know exactly what you want you're happy, everything's golden, right? Okay, your immediate future, you have the three of cups reversed and I literally just did Virgo before you and they had the same card in the same position. So you might be fucking with a Virgo, maybe not, I don't know, but um, you both had this in your future position. So FYI. Anyway, if not, whatever, the Three of Cups reversed is lack of celebration. If you are hoping to get back with someone, probably not happening. Lack of reunion, lack of celebration. This could also be somebody overindulging, you know, partying too much. Like, you have the sun in your present, like, whatever, you guys are happy. Maybe you go a little overboard with partying, who knows. Um, unfortunately, it can also mean a third party situation. I'm going to clarify to see what's up with that, but... Um, could be who knows <laughs> now what's blocking you your obstacle in your love life right now is the seven of cups so this could be one or both of you has a lot of options and you're having trouble narrowing it down which would be why the queen of pentacles is reversed in your immediate past the lack of commitment you know why because there's all these fucking options maybe um and that could be why the three of cups reverses there too could be third party who knows? If it is not a bunch of options that is blocking any sort of relationship, then it's kind of like, um, like confusion, like, which doesn't make any sense to me because you have the sun in your presence. So why this would be your obstacle, maybe it's on the other person's end because I think you have clarity. I think the person that you're dealing with might not, they might be confused and that might be blocking shit. All right. Let's see. It's weird clarifying with this deck now. All right. Let's clarify the sun for you in your present. What has you so happy, guys? What or who? Clarify the sun for Scorpio. Shit. Way on the floor. Hold on, guys. Okay. Oh, okay karma um in the upright all right this is also judgment so it's it's kind of like you whatever you've done in the past like your karma's good and you're you're getting the rewards from good karma right things are going your way because you've earned it because you have good karma it's you know it's things are going in your favor now whereas they might not have been before um karma's also the same as judgment so something could be coming up to be reevaluated, to be rejudged, could be a past relationship, um, coming back up for review and kind of turning itself around and causing this happiness for you. Um, otherwise, it's just, you know, the universe, everything's finally going in your favor. All right. Clarify the Three of Cups reverse for Scorpio. Oh, shit. Three of Pentacles reverse. All right. Um, hmm. What happens here in your future? Because your present is really awesome. And then you have... Huh. Shit. Okay. So... Guys, if you're suspecting a third party situation, I'm gonna say it's a yes. If you're not suspecting it, don't go off on some kind of big long thing like, oh my God, he, she's cheating because she said this in the reading. 
if it's happening, you already suspect it. You're a Scorpio. If you don't suspect it, then don't run with it, okay? Um, it looks to me, though, like in the future, something happens where you and the other person, you're not working together anymore. There's no celebration. There's no, it's just kind of garbage if it's not a third party situation. It's like everything just kind of, yeah, it just kind of like lost its, its energy, I want to say. We'll see, though. I'm going to clarify that again because that's just how I am. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups is an obstacle for Scorpio. Huh. King of Wands. Okay. So, air, not air, fire, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries is what I wanted to say first. Um, so... There could be a fire sign that is another option that's kind of like an obstacle in your relationship. Um, that could be. If that's not it, there could just be lack of passion, lack of drive, you know, lack of energy. Um, let's get your advice and then I want to clarify your future. Actually, let's clarify this eternal embrace up there in your overall what is it that you're being overly critical about? Or why? <coughs> huh? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. So this is like kind of like a bad luck card, right? You are... You're not just going with the flow. You're kind of trying to control shit that you can't control. All right, the universe is going to do what it does. You can't control everything. You're going to have to just go with the flow. Um, if you're trying to pick out things that are wrong with another person, then I, maybe you should just not be with them. If you can't, this is really hard for me to say because this is my personality. Like, I pick people apart. <laughs> So this is me talking to you and talking to myself, right? Um, if you're going to constantly look at the things that are wrong with the person that you're dealing with, then you should not be with them. If you're going to be with them and it's not major things or, you know, actual problems, then you're going to have to just deal with it. Everybody has their shit. Everybody has their flaws. All right? Okay. Uh, let's get another advice. Oh, two. Okay. Well, I guess we have two. And I'm going to grab the other deck to clarify this future again. All right. Clarify the three of pentacles and three of cups for Scorpio in the immediate future. Ten of Cups reversed. Um, something happens here, guys. I don't know what it is, but something happens in your immediate future that causes all this lack of harmony in your relationship, in your home. This is a dysfunctional relationship. Um, it's not a happy home. It's not a happy ending. It's like... Shit. I don't know what it is, and I can't tell from this because everything's so happy in the present. I don't know what it is for you that goes wrong, but keep an eye on it. I mean, looking at what the obstacles are, somebody could have options. There could be an interfering fire sign, or there could just be lack of passion, lack of energy, lack of drive. All right, so your advice, and we have three because I pulled two and one extra came out, so let's see here. The Six of Swords. So, if this is something that you're considering leaving, I would say this is a yes. Sail away to calmer waters. This is, you know, throwing all your swords in the boat, all the lessons that, that you've learned from this situation, and moving on to something that's calmer. You also have the Queen of Cups reversed. So don't get too caught up in your emotions. Keep control of your emotions. I mean, don't 
disregard them by any means, but don't get too hung up on them, okay? And you have the star, which is healing. This is ultimate healing from the universe. It, it can also be a wish granted. So know that whatever it is that you're going to do here, when this happens in the future, you have this healing from the universe. You're going to be fine, all right? I wish I knew what this was happening for you guys, and I don't, and I'm sorry. It looks to me like there just is like a lack of passion or there's another person. All right. Okay. Take care, guys.